But to be honest, which one is better, mousse or gel? Hello. If this is your first time here, you guys already know. I post hair videos, life videos, vlogs, life advice, a whole bunch of things. And today, we're gonna talk about mousse versus gel. Which is better? Which is worse? Which works best? Which actually does nothing for your hair? Let's talk all about mousse and gel. Make sure to like and subscribe and share this video and let's keep on watching. So, you know, I did the big chop a few years ago. This is the result. I would say it was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Yes, yes. Um, but with that being said, I've had the opportunity to try a lot of products that were good, that were bad. So I feel like this is, of all the hair content I've been posting, I feel like this is like the biggest question. Is gel better? Is mousse better? What, 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 what? Let me explain, okay? We're, I'm going to get you an answer. We're going to get down to the bottom of this. I'll be honest, pre-Big Shop, I used to really hate mousse. Um, I just felt like with my hair type and porosity, I'll put it on the screen, I've said it before, but this is what my hair type is giving. I used to think mousse was not for me, did not do me justice, it didn't hold, I just felt like it wasn't like, you know, and then there were moments where it was flaky and I was like, what the fuck, like I was just like, whatever, it's fine, like I'm not here for that. Um, for the record, today's video, I'm wearing gel, and I haven't styled with gel in a while, so if you look at my previous videos, that was all mousse. So you do your comparisons if you want. I realized that I was probably using the mousse just the way that it wasn't supposed to be used. Like when it comes to gel and mousse, you need a lot of water. And when it was when it was mousse, I wasn't using that much water because I was like, well, it's kind of watery as is, so I don't really. So yeah, that was that was my issue. So once I figured out how to use it, I was like, oh okay, okay. And I would say, yeah, it gave me some nice results. I'll just put put some pictures on the screen. So I would say, yeah, it did, it did give me what I was looking for. So I will say, once I got to learning how to use it, it made the huge difference. And I feel like a lot of people feel this way about gel as well. Especially gel, they, like gel gets a really bad rep. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of say how what was going on with that pre-Big Chop. Throughout my journey as well, I've used very high-end products and very low-end products so very high-end gels mousses very low-end gels and mousses i'll put some examples on the screen like i've used weedad i really love weedad i feel like she's a high-end product if you don't feel like it is it's because your budget is there okay my budget is not so i like to use a lot of drugstore products I like to use things that are like ten dollars and below and when it comes to twenty dollars per product that's when i'm i consider it high-end so i have found that really it makes no difference in my opinion. I'll be real with you. Like, I really just feel like it doesn't. So, that is something also to know. First of all, I just noticed my shirt is crooked, guys. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's just something I've noticed as well. So, so when it comes to the conversation of mousse versus gel, we need to know how to use it, right? So, if you know how to use it, then we will get the opt optimal results. So, I feel like people don't really know how to use it properly either or so you don't get the results that you're looking forward to i found that and i wrote this down i feel like that the best results for my hair right so you need to think about your hair but for me when i do air dry when i do a wash day i prefer to air dry and i prefer yeah i just prefer air dry and i also make sure to use a diamond brush and a lot of water and i feel like that is what gives me my best hair results so this is an air dried look with gel i'll put on the screen an air dried look with mousse you know what i'm saying so also need to know how much water and how much product distribution to use with your hair hair porosity really explains that as well and i do have a hair porosity video um that i filmed and i'll put that on the screen as well here so you can go check that one out but basically i knew that with my hair porosity i would need a lot of water and I mean a lot of water. And what I would do is I was always wetting my hair first and then combing the product through. And I felt that that made a drastic difference to the results of my hair. Like me waking up like this and just putting product on this is not going to look good. I would need to go in and wet the whole section and then put my product in. So you really need to know your hair when you're choosing if you prefer gel or mousse. But not only that, I feel like you really need to know how to use the two to get the optimal results that you want. 
So truth is, like I said, I use both. I use both at the same time, to be honest, like low key. So because of my hair porosity type, like I told you guys, um, I have different hair porosities in my hair. I have two. So I actually... For the most part, lately, I've been doing mousse and then gel in the front because the front is my frizziest. But for today's video, I just so happen to do all gel all around. Like, girl, this don't help. Like, why would I do that? No. <laughs> but yeah, just I just wanted to be honest with you guys. That's what I do. I, I will be real with you. The mousse on the front of my head does not work. It does not. No matter how much water I put, it is very frizzy up there. So I do resort to putting gel in the front because that's my hairline like you know what I mean like I need it to look presentable and cute so I do I I'll be honest I use both I do I do but to be honest which one is better mousse or gel I'm gonna give you such a cliche answer but I feel like they both are great on their own. not you about to leave the video yeah I see you about to scroll off <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like I'm looking at my notes that I wrote about this, but really, I feel like they provide different results, you know what I mean? So, I prefer, I would say that the mousse gives you a very light, airy feel, the gel gives you this crunchy, like, can you hear that? Yeah, you can, I feel like you can. This gives you a crunchy, stiffer vibe, you get me? But the mousse gives me, like, the mousse one gives me, like, if I take this curl, and I did this, she would be frizzy. But you saw how she kind of like, this kind of like just made another curl and just like bounce back into place. And that's really your preference, you know what I mean? So for me, I'm like, I'm staying home, I'm filming a lot of YouTube videos this week, let me do gel. Because I know that I can make this hairstyle last, I can do a little updo and shit, you know, like nothing crazy. But when it comes to the mousse, I am I would probably do more mousse on vacations and stuff. Or if you're not going nowhere special, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like the way it dries... For me personally for my porosity type and stuff like that so when i want my hair to last a while i do use gel but when i want it to just last for the next three days before my wash day i use mousse and i feel like mousse like i said lasts a little bit longer so i can get more hairstyles out of it but the mousse i'll be honest with you is just like you know what i mean in the end my advice would be just really test out both check out your porosity type i have been stressed this so many times in so many hair videos know your porosity type because it's gonna make a huge difference and figure that out and i'm not even playing like it's very important because once you figure that out then you really know how much water you need to put products on and one thing about curly hair no matter your curl type no matter your curl pattern water is your best friend okay when our hair is straight water is not our best friend i'm very aware of that when it comes to curls water is our best friend and especially our best friend to help us put the product through the hair so with that being said i feel like you should try both and see which one you'd like honestly i feel like for me a combo is really great because of the front of my hairline and then the rest of my hair again i told you i use it for separate things so yeah like when i especially when i travel to i feel like it's very important for me to figure out well which one am i going to use mostly and i'll be honest on vacations i'm using mousse and also i find for me personally gel takes longer for me to dry my hair versus mousse is more quicker but again it's a lighter hold too you get what i mean so gel is is going to take longer of course because it's holding everything in place not that the mousse isn't but the mousse allows for more airflow but the gel is more like a solid, you know? So just keep that in mind. Let me know down below, which one do you use? Or after this video, which one are you compelled to use? What are you What are you feeling? Did I solidify like, okay, yeah, I'm a mousse girl. Like after hearing her video, like that's what I'm gonna do. Or if you're like, oh no, I'm gonna just stick to gel. What, what are you gonna do after you watch this video? What do you suggest? What is gonna be your next plan of action with your curls? Let me know down below, comment, leave me some love and make sure to like, share and subscribe. And let me know if you want a different hair video. What do you want me to talk about? What should we discuss next? But if you don't have any time, you can also watch my shorts because I have a lot of hair shorts on there um, as well on the channel. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.